pretty lucky for a 45, 50 year old Cape Cod. Jeff Davis rode out Sandy in his home on New Jersey's Long Beach Island. Your house is in pretty good shape. We, we were fared lucky. well. We were lucky. His house was saved by this wall of sand, part of a $16.8 million Army Corps of Engineers project completed six months before Sandy. They basically brought the waves to a standstill at this point. So Stu Farrell is a coastal geologist into. who's examining how sand barriers stopped rising water pushed ashore by the storm. In places where the projects had not been constructed, the damage was extensive and in some cases catastrophic. Since 1986, the federal government helped New Jersey pay $700 million to build sand walls as high as 22 feet. But some critics, including Steve Ellis of Taxpayers for Common Sense, call it a beach bailout. What we need to do is actually reorient the funding so that the majority of the cost is picked up by the localities rather than the federal taxpayer. And when you look at sea level rise, we're in a situation where um, we're gonna, not going to be able to hold back the ocean with just sand anymore. Sandy was ferocious. Jeff Davis agreed with neighbors who opposed the dunes because they restrict beach access and blocked views. What he sees today has changed his mind. Can I put that crow down that I'm eating? <laughs> President Obama has requested that Congress allocate $60 billion for Hurricane Sandy aid. An unspecified amount will go toward rebuilding protective dunes washed away by Sandy. Seth Doan, CBS News, Long Beach Island, New Jersey.